So my latest project is a little circuit board that lets me remote control a GoPro camera using my uh, PC. So right now the, the GoPro camera is connected to the board, the board is connected to my PC. The first command I'm going to issue is an init command that initializes my board. After that I'm going to issue an on command to turn on the camera. And the camera is now turned on. And I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but on the display it's uh, upside down because the camera thinks it's in 3D mode for use with the uh, 3D kit. But the 3D mode uh, works fine because it turns the camera into a slave. After I've done that, I'm going to start recording video. So now video is recording and the red light is flashing. After I'm done recording video, I'll stop recording video. It's stopped recording. Now I'll switch to still mode. And it's in still mode now. Issue a command to take a picture. Okay, took the picture. We'll issue a command to take another picture. And now that we've gone through the video and the still modes, we'll go ahead and turn the camera off by issuing the off command. And the camera has turned off. So let's take a closer look at how this is all put together. First thing is to get a good, reliable interface to the camera. And to do that, I made this little breakout board that adapts the 30-pin uh, breakout connector on the camera to just a little 14 position double row uh, header. Connect a uh, ribbon cable to that. Then I'm going to connect the ribbon cable to my board. Make sure everything's connected properly. Then I have the connection to the PC, connection to uh, power supply, and then here I have the actual uh, camera's backpack connector and my cable. So everything's set up here. Then I can go back to the PC and issue those commands to initialize the board, turn the camera on, switch the camera to the snapshot mode, and take a picture, and then uh, switch the camera back to video mode, and take some more video. Final thing I'd like to take a look at is the hardware used to control the camera. There's a PIC24 16-bit microcontroller. There's a connector for the debug interface. There's a 3.3 volt oscillator. There's a MAX232 uh, chip for connecting to the PC, a voltage regulator. And then down here, this is the heart of the stuff for talking to the camera. There's this 14-pin connector that connects to my breakout board that connects to the backpack. There's a little memory IC here that's used to uh, put the camera into 3D slave mode and let me control it. There is a buffer chip here that lets me drive various lines uh, on the chip. And then over here is a, uh, another buffer chip that lets me monitor various lines on the camera. So I designed this board for maximum flexibility so that I could debug um, what I read about the protocol and try to get um, the, the, the remote control of the camera in the 3D mode established. So once, um, once I get this board built and I've got the camera controlled by a microcontroller now, I think there's a few other interesting things you could do. You could replace the wired PC link with a wireless Bluetooth link, or possibly more interesting is that you could add a small bit of electronics, maybe a transistor and a few resistors, to listen to the output of a uh, servo channel on a RC controller that would be used by model aircraft or, or helicopters. And with that, you could do things like if the if the uh, RC channel was moved down, you know, like servo left, it would turn the video mode on. And if the if the joystick was moved the other direction towards uh, moving the servo to the right with a wider pulse or something, you could turn the uh, the video off. But that'll be for the next board. And then the final little part was this little half, mil half millimeter pitch connector, which was a real pain to solder, but I did it by hand without a microscope, and it turned out okay. It just took about an hour, hour and a half to do. So uh, that's it. I started off by showing you a demonstration of the, the camera connected to the board, a little bit about the components and how it all wires and it all connects together, and then finally just a little bit about the hardware. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments after the video. Recording and the red light is flashing. After I'm done recording video, I'll stop.